My team builds a variety of tools, anywhere from power tools to different hand tools that the astronauts will use. The biggest challenge for us in, de in designing and developing tools for astronauts is to make it easy for them to use in their suit, and especially with their gloved hands that fatigue easily when they're working on orbit. Our team is called the Crew Aids and Tools. It's not all just tools. We also build different things that aid the astronauts in doing the task. We build all the handling aids for any of the instruments or to transport the um, or use the orbital replacement units when they're doing the changeouts. EVA time is at a premium, so any tool that we develop, we develop it in order to optimize the time that we have up there and make it as easy and simple for the astronauts to use. We develop tools for HST. Um, one could think he'd go to the hardware store and actually pick out a tool and use that and just deliver it uh, with the astronaut to use in space. The space environment is very harsh. It's very hot, very cold, and it's also in a vacuum. And most tools, power tools, for example, that you pick up from Home Depot, just would not survive in the environment of space. The repair task for this, this one instrument that's about the size of a refrigerator, it's, we call it STIS, but STIS is an acronym for Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph. And that, that task is uh, a little bit different than what we normally do. Uh, in this case with STIS, we don't have a replacement module for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to replace a card that has failed inside of the box. To actually open up an instrument and pull a board had never been thought of nor conceived that we would want to do that. And therefore the interfaces were not very friendly to an astronaut. In fact, there's 110 of these very small screws that we need to remove from the instrument in order to gain access to the board we need to replace. The beauty of the fasten capture plate is it does capture all the fasteners, but it's got a clear window. And that clear window enables the astronaut, when he takes that power tool, he can actually see the little tiny bit going into the little tiny fastener. So we have not blocked any of his visibility, yet when he takes that fastener out, it won't come out the little hole that the tool passed through. I like all the tools, but the one that I'll probably be using the most is this mini power tool. I'm looking forward to using that. Uh, it's a little, a little drill that uh, uh, that is a unique tool that I think is going to be used in space for a long time. So I'm very glad we're going to be the first ones to use it. And I bet you're going to see a lot of space crews using them for many years on new spaceships. It's going to be a pretty cool tool.